Hi guys! Okay, so I'm not going to make the intro too long because the video is really long itself. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do this look today. Um, it's a really neutral look. It's kind of got frost on it because the lid color. Um, and you probably already, already have the you probably already have the colors in your makeup collection. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, guys. So let's get started on the eye. So I did this one because. One, it's kind of in the shadows so you can see the sun better. And my mirror's over there, so if I turn to look, you can still see what I'm doing. Um, I put all of the products I used in a box. Well, the box lid of my Glim Box. Um, it's a lot of brushes, but you don't have to use all the brushes. Um, you can clean off your brushes and use them if you like them better. Um, I just have a lot because I don't like cleaning off my brushes, so... First, I'm going to use the primer I got with my Glim Box, and um, it's the Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. Now, on the eye I did here, I used my Urban Decay one, so I can kind of compare them at the end of the day. So I'm just going to use this brown eye. I'm going to put it all over my lid like that, and I'm just going to rub it in. So it doesn't look like anything when you put it on if you haven't used a primer before. It's basically just something that covers your eye so your eyeshadow kind of sticks. So first I'm going to use my Bella Pierre Cosmetics in Earth, which is very similar to Naked Lunch. I like to use it because it is like that frosty look and this is really the only thing that I have that's kind of frosty. So I like to use this one. I just have to find the right brush. Um, but you can use any frosty, like, light lid color that you like to use. So I'm just going to put this all over the lid. And I like to do two coats of it. Because it kind of gives it that little extra pigmentation. With loose powders um, like this one, because you can see I don't want to put it on my computer, but it's a loose eyeshadow, you kind of want to tap off your brush and then you really want to have a primer so it sticks and doesn't fall over your face. Next I'm going to use this kind of, this step right here is optional. I like to do it so my darker eyeshadow blends a little better, but this is Cork by MAC. It's just a light medium brown color and I just put this in the crease and I like to do this step like I said so my dark eyeshadow blends a little better has something to stick to um, because my next one's matte and I find that matte eyeshadows don't blend very well so I like to put a non matte one underneath so I use espresso which is a darker brown I'll just compare them that's why I have so many eyeshadows. This one right here is espresso. Um, but like I said, you don't have to do the step I just did. So I take some of espresso and I'm just using, oh, it's got on my face. I'm using a, just a fluffy brush. And I just put this on the same spot that I put that light brown color. It's so quiet. So just like that, it kind of just gives a, like your eye that crease definition. And then I'm going to use a pencil brush. This is a fluffier pencil brush. It's by e.l.f. It's called the contour brush. Um, this is my Sigma one, and this is my e.l.f. one. As you can see, the e.l.f. one's a little bigger. I like to do the bigger one for this look because um, I'm using carbon, and I find that my Sigma one kind of just does a straight line as this one kind of blends it out more. So I'm just going to put this right where my eye actually creases. Um, the darker brown and stuff, going wrong, the darker brown and stuff were above my crease and kind of in my crease, but I'm doing the black so it's actually like where my eye creases in. And I don't do very much at first and I kind of build on it. 
And then I take more and just kind of connect it to where my eyelashes are. So I do a line there and just blend it all together. I'm trying to look at my other eye too. <laughs> so like that. So it kind of adds the darkness. Um, then what I do is... I put a color underneath. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just a blue color. Um, I take this one. I normally switch it up. Um, sometimes I use purple. Sometimes I use green. Sometimes I use blue. I switch it up between colors. Um, today I'm going to use blue. This is Atlantic Blue from MAC. So it's just a really nice blue. But it's matte too. So it's really hard to blend. And I just do it under my eye. Just right under my eyelashes. And I go to the center of my eye. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. So I'm just going to do a little more. And I'm just using the small precision brush from e.l.f. It's just like a little pointy one. And I find it really good for doing color under your eyes and stuff because it is so tiny. So next I'm going to take Shroom and it's just a light highlight color and I'm going to put this on the inner part of where I put that blue. So under my eyelashes, sorry doing this from far away from the mirror, under my eyelashes and I'm just going to kind of blend it over top of the blue so it blends in the middle. And then to highlight my brow bone, there's so many steps, but it really is simple and it doesn't take very long. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using the same color. And just a nice fluffy brush into the inner corner if you want. Um, this one is the one I got from Sigma when I got my brush kit. It was like the little one that you get with it. Um, it's just another fluffy brush. You could use the same brush that you used for the dark um, part. Next, I take some eyeliner. This one's from e.l.f. It's the waterproof eyeliner pen in black and I just put that along my lash line so I'm going to do that but I need a closer mirror so I'm going to use my phone because it has a mirror case on it so just like that I don't know if you guys can see that I wasn't really looking sorry if you couldn't and I just wing it out at the end and then I do my eyebrows so that's another brush I just use espresso and just fill in my eyebrows with an angled brush. Any angled brush works. This one's from Elf. And this eyebrow doesn't really have a tail, so I don't really have to fill much in. Like that. It's really simple and easy step. I would definitely say if you have the eyeshadow already in the brush to eye or to fill in your eyebrows because it really gives a nice look. Then I'm gonna do mascara and it's just the lash blast lash blast length. I used up what am I doing this one? I used up my um, last mascara, which was the one by one from Maybelline. So um, this one is already in my drawer. This one used to be my favorite mascara, which is why I bought another one, and then I wanted to try other ones. So I had this one left over, and I do this one on the bottom lashes too. So I'm gonna use my phone again. Instead of moving my big mirror because it's hard to move the mirror. It's just really big and I have to hold it and it's easier to hold a phone. Then I take falsies and I always put this over top of my mascara that I already did. Because it kind of just adds, like the name says, the false look. So I really like this. My hair is stuck in it. I don't know if you can see that moving. So just like that, and that really gives that false look that I like. So just like that, and um, that's all for the eyes. For the cheeks, 
I take two, so you can shrink this down as much as you want. I just like to use a lot of products and mix them because I like the colors. I'm using Prism by MAC. It's just a matte brown color, and I find that in the summer, it really gives a nice glow to your face, so it looks just like this. It's a really light brown color. Um, and then I use Peaches over top, which is the orange peachy color. So this one gives a nice glow too, but it also gives that color that blush is supposed to give you, while the other one kind of just gives you a glow. To me, it's kind of like a bronzer that I kind of put um, there, I guess. I don't know. I've put it just a little bit lower because I like it that way. And I don't contour. I highlight, but I don't contour. So for my highlight that I just did, I'm using Shell. It's the cream color based from MAC. And that's all I do, and for lips, because this tutorial is getting so long, it's 11 minutes and I haven't filmed the intro. I'm just going to use my Smashbox Lip Enhancing in Brown Sugar. Like that, so it kind of gives that more glamorous look to it. So yeah, that's my tutorial for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it really isn't that long. It's just because I'm talking and trying to explain stuff. It's really not that long of a look to do. And you probably already have the colors in your makeup collection already. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next video.